Welcome to the training. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, yes, thank you to Lisa and Nicole. That was amazing. I tell you, I probably say it after every call, but it seems like every call is actually just getting better. Every coaching call, every training call, every opportunity, like it's you're all up leveling each other and it's kind of remark like how far can we go it's kind of amazing um well molly and i are excited to be on here with you tonight to talk about a bunch of different things we're going to be talking about um why it's important to actually talk about the money piece when you are introducing uh, girl power alliance to future members and future ambassadors but before we do that since we were talking about club 7000 and the radiant leadership and life coaching program we thought we'd share some details molly i'll let you go first on the radiant leadership and life coaching since you were going to go i think you're going to go live anyway tomorrow but you might as well share this i'll take myself off so you can share that portion all right, I gotta bring up my notes because we have uh, quite a few things. So, so excited for the Radiant Leadership and Life Coaching. We have so many women that are already committed to coming. So here are the details, but I will go live in the ambassador group so you can have all that information. So anybody who is gonna get plugged in, you can tag them in that as well. So it is going to be here in San Diego, California. Oh my gosh, I, uh, for whatever reason in my notes, I didn't even plug in the dates. Hold on, let me get this here. So the official dates are March 27th through the 30th in San Diego, California. By the way, sunny San Diego. So for all of you that are in cold areas in that time of year, you're gonna love it. Um, the deadline to get plugged in to register for RLC is going to be January 7th, 2023. So what this is going to include now, this is something special for this first round only. Catch this. This is incredible. This is going to include some meals. It's going to include your stay. It's going to include materials, the coaching, and of course, the certification. So all you are responsible for is obviously paying for the certification, which it is $1,600. I will put up a post when I do this live tomorrow morning of the different payment plans that you can opt into because we have a structure for that. So it's the $1,600 to be to go for the whole certification. So again, that's going to include some meals, the stay materials, coaching certification. So all you're responsible for is obviously paying for that $1,600, your flight, and then transportation from the airport. Absolutely incredible. It's like, it's, it's absolutely incredible. The way God moved in the place that you guys are going to be able to, you're going to love it. I, I just, I'm not going to say anything else. You're absolutely going to love it. Michelle, don't tell them anymore. I, I want to tell them one thing, one thing, one thing. Okay, so I'm very excited. Uh, Molly found a phenomenal place. It's literally a refurbished old church from the 1900s that we're going to be staying. How amazing is that? I have to tell them that, Molly. That's the coolest thing ever. That's uh, it. She, when she found this location, I was like, this is the place. So anyway, we're very, very excited about that. Um, we So... That is not the whole training. The whole training begins in January. It's going to be a complete eight-week training. It finishes with the live event in San Diego in March. So I want to make that clear. It's not just that. That's the end of it um, so, so that we can facilitate some of the modalities in order to make you guys qualified to be an ICF coach if you choose to go that route. So we're very excited about that. What is the criteria? You have to be a VIP member. Um, in order to go through the coaching, you have to be uh, have gone through at least one round of the Radiant Leadership Academy um, yourself. Uh, to actually coach it, you have to go through two, but we'll allow you to go through the training if you've only gone through one. And we're very excited about that. And we don't think that we'll, this price will be able to hold up after the first round. So um, we're excited for you guys that are kind of kicking this program off. So that's all we're going to say about that. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, can I share screen? Can I show my picture for Club 7000, Molly? Do it. Okay, hold on. Let me do this. Um, Club 7000, we're going to show you just a little pic here. It's going to be in San Diego. You have until March 31st to qualify. Um, we're very excited. It's going to be at the Hard Rock Hotel. I've done a number of events there. It's so fun. It's a beautiful place. And let me just tell you where the plans are just to pamper you guys. And um, we'll have a couple events together, but really it's going to be a treat. You and your spouse, um, all expenses paid. You get to join us down there. And uh, that's all I'm going to say for now. But it's going to be a really big treat. Um, so the way that we kind of design these two events is because Club 7000, we're actually paying for your travel. We wanted to butt the 
um, Radiant Leadership and Life Coaching up to that. So if you actually earn Club 7000, you can, we will book your flights for the Radiant Leadership and Life Coaching uh, retreat so that actually your flight is paid for. That's why we did that. We did it on purpose to actually save some of you guys some money so that you don't have to pay for those those flights uh, to come out here twice. So it's butted up against each other. You will come for the Radiant Leadership and Life Coaching training, the live training, and then you will stay for um, Club 7000. So uh, we wanted to just you know take another little take another little burden off of that for you guys. So we're excited about that. Our very first one, we expect them to, there to be many, many, and uh, we already, we wrote a list today of who we believe already is going to uh, be in attendance. So far, Natalie Lawson is the only one that has qualified, um, but we know that there's gonna be many of you. I was watching in the chat and you were all talking about, I wanna be there, I wanna be there, I want all of you there. It will be very amazing, and by the way, if you live in the Midwest or in the Pacific Northwest or basically anywhere that's not the South, it's going to be very cold and you're going to come to beautiful, sunny, warm San Diego and you'll be able to wear shorts. <laughs> you'll be able to enjoy some really, really phenomenal, beautiful spring weather at that time. So we're just excited about that. Okay, Molly, if you want to come back up, we're going to talk to you about something because I want to share with you guys something that I have seen happen over all of my years in the network marketing profession. And it can be a, like it can be a stopper for people. It can be a stopper and people wonder, I'm talking to all these people and I just, I can't really, I can't really um, get them to see the vision of this. And I wanna just share with you a little tip and why it's so important when you're talking to people to include the fact that this isn't just an amazing resource for women to grow. Yes, it is. It's the most amazing thing ever. It's not, it, this isn't just an amazing community of women that are um, gonna lift you up and pray for you. This isn't just those things. It is also an opportunity. And it, and when I say that, I mean, it's a business opportunity. So you could talk, I have talked to, gosh, I mean, thousands and thousands of people over the years that are traditional business owners, franchisees, franchise owners, um, in, in basically every different facet of life. And you wonder to yourself, how is it that somebody can feel, um, they can feel skeptical about starting a business for $400 or 79 if you start as a basic, but that same person would not, they, they wouldn't even hesitate to start a franchise for 25 to 50 to $100,000. How is that? Because they have already believed in and have been, um, have been explained the value of the business. It's a value proposition. They know that for 50, I'm just gonna say $50,000, which is a very, very low cost to start a franchise, by the way. It's probably a lot more now, especially. Um, but let's say for $50,000, you have the ability to purchase the franchise name and the training. So let's say it was a Subway. I think Subway is, a, uh, Molly, have we talked about this? I think Subway is a million dollars now, um, or maybe it's not. Um, it's, it's multiple six figures. It's multiple six figures. Like Krispy Kreme is like a, a little over a million. McDonald's franchises are a million. So let's just say um, your multiple six figures. Leaves. Okay, Subways are definitely six figures, she says. I think that's definitely true. So let's just use $250,000. You want to start a business. You want to have the business be successful. Oh, Crumble Cookies, $250,000. We just got one of those in my town. So $250,000, however you've gotten that, maybe you pulled a loan out of your uh, house, uh, equity loan, another mortgage, you borrowed money, whatever it is that you did to get that money. And what does that guarantee you? It guarantees you a model, that's it. They teach you and train you how to run the business the way that it has sex, sex, successfully run in other locations. You still have to go out and uh, lease the space, buy the materials, hire the people, and do the marketing. You still have to do that. It's not a guarantee that so you still have to work, but people are willing to do that all day long because they want a successful model to follow. And yet, people still shrug their shoulders and go, I don't believe this is a real opportunity. Well, part of that is because you're not talking about it like it's an opportunity. This isn't just a resource. This is an investment. Right, Malls? Yes, absolutely. It's giving you time if you want to cut in here. Oh, I'm sure I can. <laughs> <laughs> I, the one thing that I love about sharing the opportunity piece is that it first starts with what your mindset is around it. 
You know, if you are, and I've talked to so many of you where an extra income would be such a blessing for you, whether it's debt or medical bills are high or inflation is just got you feeling like, oh, things are just really tight. Or maybe there's a dream vacation you want to save up for. Maybe you haven't even thought about putting a vacation together in eons because you couldn't afford it. The thing is, is that you deserve to press into something like this. And if you don't feel like you deserve that and that God has given you this gift for you to steward, that's the first stop. And I feel like so many people stop there. And Michelle and I have talked about this a lot. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this too, Michelle, is in the Christian community, there is there is a stigma when it comes to selling things, a really thick one where it's like, okay, it's about the impact. And you know, it's not really about the money, even though I could use the money, but it's really about the impact. They're correlated. I'm like, I know you need this money because we all do. We are all feeling the heat of inflation. We are all feeling it. So why not have five different ways you can get paid by sharing a resource where God is in the center? Because when you put resources in the hands of kingdom-minded women, Mm. things just increase for the kingdom. So it's almost like when you come with that energy of, I'm so excited for more kingdom women to make more money. So then it can pour back into the kingdom, in their families, in themselves. When you come with that energy and excitement, that's going to start like sparking off to other people. But if you come back with, well, you know, it's $79 or, you know, $3.99 and just whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for looking at this. Just just thank you. And you're really thanking them. They should be thanking you because you (laughs) something that is going to be a turnkey for a fraction, fraction, literally pennies compared to buying a franchise somewhere else. So that's the biggest thing that I see getting on calls with all the ambassadors. It's like step into that power of we get to bring you a key of freedom that God has says here. I'm, I'm, God is like, I'm giving this to you because you've asked for it, but it's maybe not the way that we look, which I think we all want to be a sack of cash at our front door. And then we could just run with it. No, <laughs> he's gonna make you work for it. So anyways, when it comes to that mindset piece, Michelle, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, what's interesting is I have done many calls with people who said, you know, so-and-so introduced me. She didn't even tell me that this was an opportunity. And I was like, and why not? (laughs) Um, This is an actual opportunity. Now, if you don't feel compared to to share it, you do not have to. You do not have to partake in the opportunity side. Those are members. But if you want to be an ambassador and you actually want to turn your own personal development and your ability to help other people grow into a business opportunity, this is for you. And what we are committed to doing here is doing things a little bit different. We talk a lot about people that have been in network marketing before. We call it MLM PTSD. They have all these weird feelings. Well, can we normalize the fact that that is the past and this is the future? Can we normalize that, that we're not going to talk about the things that happened in our past? They're in our past for a reason. And even the things that were negative, I promise you, you, you learned something powerful and profound in that experience that will propel you forward, which is why when you come here and you see the way that we're doing things, the way that we're talking, then you're actually going to feel really really good about it but just like Molly was talking it it really actually begins with you over the years I have always noticed if somebody didn't believe in the value of the thing that they were talking about then the other people didn't believe it either because remember people are moved by your conviction not your convincing so if the words that are coming out of your mouth are right they're the correct words but you actually don't believe them then it's not gonna hold any weight when you actually see this is a phenomenal opportunity for you not only to, like, like, like I said before, partake in the incredible resources for yourself, but share that with other people for the purpose, not just for their personal and professional and spiritual development, but for the purpose of building kingdom wealth for themselves and then for the kingdom, then it will change. Your attitude will change. And it's why we wanted to add in those double bonuses for the first 30 days because we wanted to help you exactly like Lisa said, eliminate any barrier that is making you feel like, oh, well, it's too expensive, I can't afford it. The truth is, it's too inexpensive. And we're actually at a price point that makes some people believe, well, it's only it's only $400, there must not be that much value in it. Oh, it's only 150 a month, this can't be a real business opportunity. It is. <laughs> And God has spoken some really powerful things over the business, um, the business that we have here. Can I, can I share that part? Can I share what the Lord has told me? He's told me that women are going to make more here in a month than they have made in a year. And I say that with a, a lot of humility because that is a big number for some. We have some very like top 
Fortune 500 earning women in this very, very profoundly successful um, entrepreneurs already here. So to for God to say they're going to earn women, some women are going to earn more in a month than they've earned in a year. That's a lot of that's a that's a number of commas and that's a lot of zeros attached to that earning. And another thing that he has sp spoken over this opportunity is that in a time like I I keep saying this, I believe we're living in two economies like side by side, the world's economy, which is going to, you know what, in a handbasket and then the kingdom economy. And in the kingdom economy, I believe that Girl Power Alliance is going to be used to not only sustain people when the rest of the world is f faltering, but it's going to be used. It's going to be a Joseph moment where it's going to be we're going to be able to earn into abundance so that we can actually pour that out onto other people. I believe that with all of my heart. These aren't things that I came up with. These are things that the Lord is showing me about what's happening here. And so I, we want to help you to get over that. So when you're talking to somebody, Molly, I'm going to share mine and then you can share yours. When you're talking to somebody, when you've gotten on a three-way call, by the way, like little tip here, use the three-way calls, not as the first exposure, but as something that you bring somebody on to a three-way call after you've sent them your website, you've add and tagged them onto our Facebook page and or sent them some of the videos on the YouTube channel. Um, use the three-way call and the Thursday night calls as a way to close them because you've already given them some information. If you use the three-way call as uh, too early of a first exposure, then they have so many questions that even if we are amazing or you're, who you're, whoever you're using for the three-way call is amazing, they're not quite ready because there's still things they want to see. So strategize in the way that you expose people utilizing tonight's call and a three-way call as uh, one of the, you know, not a first exposure. But when you're on a three-way call, when you're on a call with somebody, Molly, I'll, like I said, I'll share what I do. Um, I always talk to people and say, you know, yes, it's all these resources, but it's also a way for you to earn. It's also a way for you to actually leverage, and Lisa did a beautiful job talking about this on the call tonight. It is a way for you to leverage the power of other people's content. The content creator world um, is massive and growing. Like, it's a freight train that's running away. It's the, the growth is continuing to expand exponentially. But, you know, maybe you want to be a, maybe you want to be a content creator, but you're like, don't know where to start or don't know what to say or can't decide. A million reasons. But guess what? You get to leverage the content of some really phenomenal content creators right here. So you get to partake in and be part of the content creator um, economy, the, the knowledge-based business, and leverage that. This call is a way to leverage, right? Um, a call that's happening every week. All you have to do is plug yourself and people into it, and we, we are doing the work for you on this call. So everything that we're doing inside Girl Power Alliance is a way to leverage, and I always speak to that piece. And I love to ask people, if you don't know what to say, here's what I ask people. So, um, you know, what amount of money would, would change your life right now? Sometimes it's only 400 a month. Sometimes it's like 5,000, 4,000, but ask the question. And then once I hear the answer to that, I say, well, then I can show you how to build a business that will bring you that in a residual fashion, a residual fashion. So look, can I talk about residual for one second, Molly, before you add on? Residual is this. So as you're building a residual income here, um, you are growing your membership. You're growing women, uh, personal, professional development. Some of them are going to want to be part of our coaching program. Some of them are going to want to be part of the Radiant Leadership Academy. It's just growing because they're having the, the impact on their lives is so profound that other people want a piece of it. So it's growing as that is growing and your membership uh, continues to grow. You're getting a small piece of the pie of every single membership. So that residual comes in every month, even with people that you've never met that every month that membership comes in and you are able to earn because every little bit from a lot of people. In direct sales or in high ticket or in traditional sales, you work your tail off, you get a sale, you get a commission. Then it's over, you gotta go back to work. Work your tail off, get a sale, get a commission. With residual, 
you're working your tail off to get a sale and you get commission, 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 commission. And then that person is so excited, they enroll somebody and you never even met them, you didn't close the sale, but you get commission, 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 over and over. Do you see the difference? This is a way to leverage the power a little bit from a lot of people. And that is a very encouraging thing for women that are so busy wearing 37 hats and you're like, I can't add something else to my plate, but guess what? If you get a lot of women doing a little bit, then you can earn in a very large fashion. So I always bring it up in every conversation. They may not be interested in the opportunity, I mean in the in the resources. I don't know. I'm not really interested in personal development. Well, I get that. But are you are you looking for a way to earn extra money? So people say, what do you what do you lead with? The actual opportunity or the product? Both all the time. There is not one conversation for me without the other because I know how important, especially in this world right now, I know how important it is for people to actually have, I don't even wanna say extra income. Um, Bobby and I went to the grocery store the other day, you know, we're empty nesters, and we spent more on the smallest amount, I think we had three little bags of groceries, we spent more on that than we used to spend on two weeks when we had a whole house full of kids here, and that was not that long ago. So the price of everything is going up, it's on everybody's mind. So to have the ability to offer them a solution that's gonna benefit their lives, even if they weren't working it as a business, but it's gonna benefit their lives financially, you should be running to the people that you know to share that with them. Okay, Malls, sorry. No, never apologize. It's so good. All of it, I'm just like, yes, so good. Okay, so Ginny, Ginny mentioned something. I'm struggling with three ways. I know she's not the only one because I've heard this so many different times. So here's what I love to say to that. When you are wanting to connect somebody into a three-way call, what people are already thinking is like, oh gosh, here comes the pitch, here comes the close, here we go. Like that's their that's what they're thinking, right? Because that's how most situations are. But here is the fresh approach. And a couple of weeks ago, we talked about just different verbiage to use, right? Here's a different verbiage piece. I would love to connect you with one of the, whether it's Michelle or myself. So say you're connecting them with me. I'd love to connect you with one of our co-founders so she can share what God is doing here. That's it. So then they're like, okay, well, what is God doing here, right? Now I'm gonna go over all the things, but I'm, I'm going at it of like, this is what God is doing. He gave Michelle this vision. Michelle took action. Hence why we are all here. We're sharing what God has put together here and what his vision is for Girl Power Alliance. The equipping, the empowering, the encouraging, the opportunity, because he knows a lot of his daughters are hurting financially right now. So he's giving you this. And this is what I love to say when it comes to financial peace, stream in the desert. As a coach myself, uh, in the past, I was always like, okay, I got to get this deal. I got this deal. I got to get this deal. And I was always getting the deals. And I was constantly on this, like, you know, just hamster wheel. But what it actually is, what residual income is, is a stream in the desert. When you're in the desert, what do you want more than anything? Water, because you are thirsty. So many of us, I know a lot of people are in a wilderness season. Well, God is doing a new thing. So a stream in the desert, I know it's resonating with a lot of people because God has highlighted that to me. And it's something that is real and that people need. And I see so many people jumping back. Well, I got to get more sales in my coaching business or I got to go over here and get an extra income because of this and that. And they're not willing to put in the work. And if you put in the work for a year and you could create an extra ten to $15,000 residually a month, would you want to do that? You got to ask yourself that, but it's not going to come just like, here you go, Molly, here you go. No, you are going to be tested. That stream in the desert, however it got there, probably had to work really hard to survive <laughs> because it's in a really hot environment. But it, it worked hard to survive, however it's there. The whole point is, is that things that are worth it are going to be a marathon, not a sprint. It's going to be uphill. It's going to be something that is going to be worth it, working at it. And so there's going to be testing in there. But why not be tested? Why not work for something that is going to be worth it in the end inside of an environment where women are running after the same thing? also running after God's heart and wanting to be in his presence mm. because it's so much deeper than just the money. This is the last piece that I'll, I'll say on this is when it comes to the freedom that's here, most people are attracted to the time freedom and the financial freedom. But what God keeps highlighting to me, and this is why I love getting on calls, which the three-way piece, what I love is I love it when I'm meeting somebody, I have no idea who they are. I love it when we get to the point, we're going to be at hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands of members. And I'm like, I want to get on his phone as many uh, with as many of you as I can because I want to see what God's doing in and through you now. 
And then we get to see what happens six months from now, a year from now. Like, I love that. I absolutely love that. Michelle and I, the whole corporate team have such a heart for getting to know people. And that is so important. But the piece that I want to get to is the freedom piece. When you come in here, they may not be like what they call in the health you know, industry, like a, a, a scale victory, right? Like, you know, oh, I lost like 10 pounds. It may not be like I, you know, made a hundred thousand dollars here or whatever, right off the bat, but the healing in your marriage, the trauma from your past, the, the mindset that you've had that has just kept you in a dark place for so long, you finally letting go and breaking free of that, that is worth absolutely everything. And some people may be listening on this call being like, I don't even know what you're talking about because I haven't even heard of that before. But that's a real thing. God is doing so much more chain breaking and giving in freedom that is so much deeper than what is in your bank account. Because so many times people are listening to the government or what's in their bank account and that's dictating their lives. But he's like, I am God and I want to do a new thing. And that's part of this whole movement here. And that's what I love seeing. And I let women know. I'm like, when you step into this, you have a target on you. Because you are going to go against hell. You are going to go against the enemy and he's going to try to stop you. Because if he can stop you here, then everything that's in front of you doesn't get to come to fruition. But you get to say, not anymore, not today, not ever. You just get to stay back there and we get to move forward. And so there's so much more that's here for you. And so that's what I love. And that's the power of a three-way call when we get to speak into people like that. Like it's not just a close, come into the membership. It's Let's speak life into you and show you why this is different because God's in the center of this whole thing. So now you can come at that with a different posture, which is what people need to see, right? Because everybody just thinks they're a number like, okay, you're just going to, okay, fine, whatever. No, I'm actually here. And there's a lot of times where God for myself, when I'm speaking into somebody, he's like, he has a word for you right now. I was talking with a lady earlier today. She, she just kept saying, I don't have the time. I don't have the time, but I know I'm supposed to be here. I don't have the time. And I said, God gave me a message for you that it's, time to open up your capacity. It's time to grow that. And she was like, oh, I was like, I keep hearing saying you don't have time, but God said it, your capacity is growing and that's starting right now. She was like, oh, <laughs> and he just had that word for her in that moment. You never know. So who are you like holding back from getting on a call where God could have a word for them and that could be their first breakthrough. So I know Michelle has that too. I know Michelle has those moments too, where she gets to speak into people. So that's what I have to say on a three-way call. So it's so much deeper than just let's plug you into the membership. There's so much more richness here. Yeah. And I think, thank you so much for all of that, Molly. And, you know, I think that one of the things that we're really focused on doing different here, it's not about a sales pitch. And for a brand new company, a brand new network marketing company, I've been around the profession a long time. I know how they start. I've seen it. I've been a part of a couple companies when they first start. They position people, they pay people. There's a lot of things and they do it for a good reason. I'm not saying it, it's bad. I'm not, I'm not giving an opinion about it. I'm just saying it's, it is what happens. And what we're doing here is pioneering. Because I remember very specifically praying like, Lord, if you're saying that you want us to transition into an actual network marketing company, it cannot look, feel, taste, or smell like anything I've been a part of before. And so the women, you women that are here and the ones that you will be bringing into the fold here, we are pioneering. And it is not for the faint of heart. It takes grit. It takes vision. It takes courage. Because we're not doing things the way that they've been done before. We're really not. So we're casting a vision for something that God is doing in the marketplace. He's doing something in the profession of network marketing. He's doing something in uh, the world of, of online education slash content creation. He's doing something very profound and it looks different. And let me tell you something, when you do anything different, what everybody wants to do is put you in a box of something else that looks similar. And we don't fit in a box. We don't fit in a box. We have some core values here that I wanna share with you. It's leadership, truth, grace, family, and freedom. Mm. All of those, every one of those, every decision that is made here is wrapped up into those core values of what we're doing here. And the and interesting thing is when we're having conversations with people, um, I think that old programming and what, what you've been taught or what you think you're supposed to do is to get on a call with somebody and pitch them. But the truth is, what I like to do when I get on a call with somebody is ask them questions. Like, why are they even on the call? What are they interested? What do they feel called in? What do you feel God's calling you to do? What are you passionate about? What's your need right now? And when I hear that, then I just 
um, I allow the Holy Spirit to kind of take over and speak to that person. So it can be different. People say, oh, I'm talking to this person today. What, you know, what should I say? I don't know. I don't know anything about that person. I would have to get on the phone with that person. So instead of being like, like I just today alone, I saw a slew of posts that were the same old same. Pre-launching, timing, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, whatever, whatever you want to say about that. But I'm like, that's not what this will ever be. So for those of you that are like, I'm not totally sure, I, guess what? Pioneering is meaning that we're doing something new. And Molly used the, the phrase streams in the desert. That section of scripture in particular, I know it's in multiple places in Isaiah, but Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19, God has used as he's a tattoo on my heart. And it says, I'm doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wasteland and streams in the desert. And a new thing here with what we're doing, a new thing is an old thing done in a new way. And that's what we're doing. We're doing new things. And it's like, it's making people's feathers get ruffled. It's making them uncomfortable. They kind of feel like they want to be here, but they're not sure because it's not it hasn't been around long enough to the, for them to feel like they can see it. But you women are here because I believe God called you in particular. He already knew. There's more. There's more of you. So my question is for you guys, when you're thinking about, you know, who are your future members? Who should you be reaching out to? First of all, I believe, I believe God will lay that on your heart first and foremost. But secondly, ask yourself this question. Who needs a community of women that will pray for them? Mm. Who needs more Jesus in their life? Who needs hope? Who needs to feel like um, they aren't alone in this world? Who needs an option to make more income um, in small pockets of their day for like a very small investment that they can earn back literally within the first two weeks? Because that particular bonus that doubles gets paid every other week. So you could sign up today as a brand new person. You could enroll a, if if you signed up as a as a VIP, then you could go enroll two VIP members and one uh, basic member, and you would literally have earned back your complete investment. And you wouldn't get paid on Monday. You get paid the next Monday. There's no such thing as that in the traditional business world. Three to five years at minimum of a traditional business before you turn a profit. But once you've done that, everything you're, is a profit. So I wanna just encourage you not to be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. it. For some people, it's the spark. It's the reason they'll come here because you've shared the opportunity. And then the last thing I'll say about that is, who, how arrogant do you have to be to make a decision for somebody else? That's arrogance. That is you thinking that you know what is best for somebody else. You don't. Maybe you don't know their full story, but you owe it to them to tell them the full picture here at Girl Power Alliance that includes the fact that they can earn an income. And now I'll just, if I, if I can just talk about something that's been burning off, like on my heart since the beginning of the week. Um, I, we talk to a lot of people. I've worked with women my whole adult career. And uh, you know, one thing that happens when you're talking to women, I know Molly deals with this too, and maybe you guys do too in your businesses where uh, women talk about, oh, it's just been, everything is so hard, they're being so attacked, and this didn't go right, this didn't go right. I just de dealt with it with my youngest daughter over the weekend. All of her plans went to pot as she had made plans for her 20th birthday. And she was so disappointed. At every turn, when something didn't turn out, she was so disappointed. And I've been, it, I really believe that this is a message for the body right now. There is some weird thing that has prevailed in especially the Western culture that we have this expectation that, that we're not going to have obstacles. I'm not sure whoever told you that. If you've ever read the Bible, I didn't see one soul in there that didn't have an obstacle. Let's just take Job. Job was like this good dude who wasn't doing anything wrong. And on a dare, his life got thrown upside down in, in massive ways. It's not Satan, it's the hormones. <laughs> you have to be an RLA to know what that one is. But you're right. But all I'm saying is there is a wrong expectation. If you can turn your mind from expecting 
Things are going to be easy. It's all going to be easy from here. Nothing's going to go wrong. The moment you can change that expectation, then your life will get so much easier. I was telling Molly the other day, if I have a day that doesn't isn't wrought with obstacles, I'm like, oh my gosh, that was a shocking day. Because most days are filled as a person that's pioneering, that's out here on the front line saying, you know what? I'm going to do this work to the best of my ability and I'm going to work as if I'm working for the Lord. There are multiple targets on the front, on the back, on the bottom, on the side. All of you have that. I expect it. I expect the arrows. I expect the obstacles. I'm not out there as a warrior pretending that arrows aren't going to come. If you are here, if you believe God has called you to this time to do this thing, then put your armor on and mm -hmm. stop expecting it to be easy. Just expect that it's going to happen because God promised it will. Do we know when? No, we don't. But we do what we're called to do and we allow God to do his thing. Keep, yes, show up anyway. There are so many lessons in the battle. And as you overcome each obstacle, and by the way, you'll stop being shocked when things don't go your way. You'll be like, oh, okay, well, I mean, and next, what, okay, what, bring it. What's, what's, oh, my car broke, I got a flat tire. All right, well, next. Oh, my computer just broke down. Okay, well, I'll use my phone, next. You get really, really good at becoming an overcomer so that you don't do this all day long and you're just like this, bring it on, bring it on. I won't be moved. I know where God has called me. I really think it's time to like build some strength, ladies. This is a war that we're in. And if you think that you can be in the war in the kingdom, but your life is going to be rainbows and skittles and sunshine, you're wrong. And somebody's lied to you. Warrior daughters, I am unshakable. I'm here for a purpose. Yes. That's right. I just, it's been burning in my spirit and I feel sad to see people so emotionally drained for all the problems. I'm like, and you're just a human then. Oh, you had obstacles today? That means you're alive and you're a human that lives on this planet. Hmm. I mean, it's not, <laughs> Molly knows. I mean, we, our whole team at GPA knows. If you knew some of the stuff that these women have overcome in the last couple of years, you'd be like, wow, I never would have known because they are building up their armor, knowing, expecting, guess what, it's gonna come, bring it. Do your worst, because I won't be moved. I won't be moved, and I want you to have the strength too, so that you won't be moved. Somebody says no to you, don't cry about it, Mo keep moving, pray for them. Somebody goes, ooh, what are you doing, and they say nasty things, don't worry about it, keep moving. You have a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, Keep moving. This is part of the human existence. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Time is up. I think we took more time because we had extra time. Yay for us. Um, Molly, I will let you close it out. I appreciate you guys. This is this community, I believe with all my heart, is going to change the world. Um, you already are. You already are. Keep going. Keep going. Thanks, Molly. Yes. I mean, I don't think there really needs to be anything else that needs to be said. God was here and present and we just went to church. I love it. That was amazing. I mean, Michelle, you're absolutely incredible. I love the, the fire, the passion and desire that you have because it's in those burning moments. I mean, we just see this like chat, just light up of women that just feel like, okay, let me borrow this a little bit. Let me go try it. Be bold. Go out there and be bold. And when you need a little extra, lean on one of your sisters here. That's why we're here. It's not a sign of weakness. That happens. We need each other. And that's what we're here for, to fill your cup. But go out there, be bold. And, you know, set something up this week where you're like, you know what? I'm going to take a new stand. And I'm going to go be bold. And I'm going to hold myself accountable to this today. We can have accountability partners all we want. Most important accountability partner is you to yourself. Big time. Big time. So we love you guys so much. We are so grateful for what God is doing here. And we will see you all next time. Good night, everybody.